today I'm going to finally be going into depth about my hormonal acne, getting off birth control, how I got rid of my hormonal acne, my skincare routine, all of that kind of stuff because I get a lot of questions. I talk about it a lot on my other social media platforms, but I really haven't given you guys like a very in-depth video on here yet and I feel like there's just a lot to say. So I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm not wearing any makeup purposely for this video so you guys can kind of see what my skin looks like just naturally. I've only done my skincare routine and I have it very hydrated, but I do still have some acne scars here so I just want you guys to know that my skin is not like perfect, but for the most part my hormonal acne is like pretty much completely gone and I'm gonna go over how I got my skin to look like this after having it completely break out. So I'm gonna give an entire backstory first and then on my Instagram, I asked a lot of you guys to ask me questions. So I'm going to answer the questions at the end after I kind of get into the nitty gritty of everything. So all my life, I've pretty much had clear skin. I never really dealt with acne. I was just fortunate to not really have a lot of issues with my skin until when I was 15, I decided to go on birth control for, I was like 15, 16. I think I had just turned 16 actually. And I decided I wanted to go on birth control for con contraception purposes. And I went on it and everything was fine. I didn't really notice any changes. I feel like I wasn't really that in tune with my body then anyways. So whatever, I went on birth control at 16. And then when I was 18, I was getting really into veganism and really into just like natural things. And I didn't want to be on it anymore. So I decided to get off of it. And that was when, for the first time in my life, I had acne. And after getting off the pill, which is a very common thing that happens, I got hormonal acne. And I didn't realize at the time that I had gotten it because of the pill. Like, I wasn't really educated at all about hormones or like women's health, birth control, the side effects, everything, which is obviously unfortunate that we don't get taught that kind of stuff. But I just didn't really have an awareness about that at the time. But I think eventually I did realize that getting off the pill was the catalyst for me getting acne. But again, I didn't really know that it was hormonal. I didn't really know why. I just knew that getting off the pill, all of a sudden I got acne. I'd never had it before in my life. And obviously as a teenager, I was very insecure about it. If you've ever dealt with acne, you know that it's not fun at all. It's very infuriating, frustrating. Uh, it just makes you feel, it just really ruins your self-esteem. So I obviously did not like that at all. It was very, yeah, just really struggled with it. I tried to cover it with makeup, but I didn't really know how to do that. And I was not having, I did not have a good skincare routine. I was doing like tea tree oil and coconut oil and just putting all this type of random stuff on my face and it just wasn't working. So eventually I went back on the pill and I remember telling my doctor, I really want to get rid of my acne. I want to make sure that whatever pill I'm getting on is going to help with that. And so even though I was getting on, I was getting back on birth control for contraception purposes again, but also for getting rid of the acne. Cause I knew that when I was on it, on the pill, I didn't have any acne, my skin was clear. So I got back on the pill and pretty much from then on, I have been on it. There's like been moments where I've gone off of it for a little bit and I, I have gone up and down with acne. It seems like the pill is obviously the catalyst for me getting hormonal acne, which again is super common. My skin cleared up, everything was good. I've always gotten like a couple pimples here and there during my period, whether I'm on the pill or not. So that's just like normal. I just deal with that. I, that's not a big deal. Once a month, fine, manageable. Fast forward to October, 2022 actually just 22, 2022 as a whole, I just was starting to realize that I really didn't want to be on the pill anymore. I was starting to learn more about just the negative effects of it, um, the long-term effects, the side effects, just all of this stuff. And I really wanted to get more into with my body and I just decided that I eventually wanted to get off the pill. But obviously I was very scared of getting acne again because it had happened in the past. I didn't want it again. I was really going back and forth with myself because I was like, I don't want to deal with this. I, my skin was so clear at the time and I was like, I just know that if I get off of it, I'm going to have to deal with acne and I, you know, obviously nobody wants to have to deal with it, but I was like, I put my foot down and I was like, you know, I really want to get off of it. If I get acne, that's fine. I'm going to figure out a way to balance my hormones naturally. I want to get into my body. I want to get to the root cause of it once I get off the pill. So in like October, November of 2022, I finally got off the pill and everything was great. My skin was fine. I actually have never felt better in my entire life. Like my entire personality came back. The amount of positive effects that happened to me after getting off the pill, it's just like, I will never go back on it because of that. I felt like I had so much more energy. My mood swings stopped. I used to be such an up and down, like there would be 
weeks at a time that I would just be so depressed, so unmotivated, feel terrible about myself. And then the next day I'd be like bouncing around happy as a clam, <laughs> like nothing had ever happened. And I was like, this is not normal. Um, so the mood swings went away. My mood was just way more stable. Obviously I still had emotions. I would still feel sad and happy and stuff, but it just wasn't so like up and down and like chaotic. So more energy, less moody, crazy moods, crazy emotions. Um, I felt like my childlike self, which is so weird, but I felt like all of these interests that I used to have as a kid just like flooded back to me. I got so much more like curious and playful and passionate and it sounds crazy, but I genuinely felt like my old self was back. Like that's what I kept saying. I was like, I feel like myself again, which is so weird and also sad to think that this thing that I was on for years could have potentially been like hindering so many things inside me, but whatever. Everyone's different, so I'm not gonna like, I'm not here to tell you to get off the pill. I'm just telling you guys my experience. Whatever, I got, also my sex drive was like actually insane. <laughs> um, I was like a freaking 12 year old boy, which in my opinion, I think that is a positive effect. <laughs> so everything was great. My skin was perfectly fine. I was, I thought I was in the, in the clear, right? I was like, oh, it's been like four months and my skin has been fine this whole time. Maybe I'm not gonna get acne this time. But lo and behold, March of 2023, so let's say November, December to January, February, so four months, four to five months after me getting off the pill, I started breaking out. Hormonal acne, I knew it was hormonal because it was all around my chin, which is where I've always had acne. I've never really gotten it anywhere else, really just on my chin um, and jawline. I was like, okay, here we go. Now I know that it's coming. I was ready for it though. I had prepared a little bit. I, I had mentally prepared, right? Like. I knew that it was a possibility. I was very well aware that it could potentially happen. And I had heard that people said it does take a while for the birth control pill to kind of get out of your body and get out of your system. And so that's why it's kind of like a delayed reaction. Got acne and I was very accepting of it, even though I knew it was really frustrating. I was like, okay, here we go. Like I'm ready to battle this thing. I'm ready to figure it out. I'm ready to get to the truth. I'm ready to figure out what's going on in my body and you know, get it to a healthy state. So I actually pretty much documented my entire journey through this uh, on Instagram, if you're curious. I have a whole highlight in my bio that's called Acne Journey. Cause I literally the first day that I got a pimple, I was like filming myself like, okay, here we go guys. Like I finally, it finally happened. I'm finally getting hormonal acne. And I actually asked my audience on Instagram, my followers, probably a lot of you guys, um, like, do you guys have any recommendations? Have you ever experienced this before? Who's gotten off the pill and gotten hormonal acne? Like, how did you combat it? And I'll be honest, there were so many answers. Like, it was actually overwhelming. People were talking about skincare routines. People were talking about spearmint, mint, sorry, spearmint tea, um, tretinoin, tretinoin, retinol, uh, just, there were so many different things that people were recommending. And so it was very overwhelming at first, but I was ready to try them all, honestly. The one thing that I wasn't really, I didn't really think that a skincare routine or like switching up the products was gonna really change my hormonal acne because I knew that it was coming from within. Potentially like topical things could help in the long run, but I knew that the acne was from inside of me and I knew it was from the pill. So I wasn't really, I didn't really think switching up the skincare was really gonna change much. I was more concerned about like, how am I gonna balance my hormones? Cause I know that the reason I'm getting acne is because there's a hormonal imbalance because I've been on this pill for so long, fake hormones in your body. And now all of a sudden they're not there and your body's like, what the heck? So from what I've read, what happens after you get off the pill is your testosterone spikes. And the testosterone is one of the hormones that causes acne. So it's a very natural thing. I do know that you can just kind of wait it out. Like it will eventually maybe go away, but I've also heard of people dealing with it for years afterwards. So everybody's different again. So I knew that like, yeah, maybe it will go away eventually, but I was also like, I don't really want to have this forever and I'd like to figure out what's wrong. So I tried a lot of things at first. I remember I got a dim supplement, which I think I've talked about on here. I talked about on Instagram because I did really like it. It did help a little bit. Like my acne didn't go away, but it was definitely helping. So I was like, okay, this is kind of on the right track. I was definitely researching like supplements and things like that. And I was drinking spearmint tea a little bit, but to be honest, like I never really fully cleared it. It was like, it would kind of fluctuate. Like some days it just wouldn't be that bad, but then other days it would be really bad. So I, I like, it would help for a little bit and then it wouldn't, like it wouldn't really go away. So I was like, okay, none of this is really like a cure, right? Like I'm not fully, I haven't fully figured this out yet. So finally somebody recommended Clear Stem, which is a skincare brand, but they also make a supplement and they were recommending the supplement. And I've actually, I had a couple people recommend it actually. And 
I was traveling through Mexico at the time. I was in Mexico for like two months, so I couldn't order it while I was in Mexico. And while I was in Mexico, my acne was pretty bad. So when I was there, I was like, there's not really anything I can do while I'm here. I, I got Trent Trevinoan in Mexico, but that didn't really work. So yeah, I was like planning on when I got back to San Diego, I was gonna try out this clear stem stuff that I had heard about. So I actually, I think I might've ordered it before I even got there or something. I don't know. I ordered it like the first week that I got to San Diego. And as soon as it arrived, I started taking it and I was like documenting the process of that. And like literally within two weeks of me using it, um, taking it, my acne was pretty much gone. And I know that sounds like an exaggeration, but I have the photos to show you. So literally in September of 2023, my skin was probably at its, one of its worst, like a pretty bad breakout, but it like consistently from March through, sorry, not September, August. No, I'm sorry, I'm so confused. July of 2023 my skin was really bad um it had been bad that whole time but it was like probably at one of its worst moments in july um yeah in july of 2023 while i was in mexico um just super irritated very red very painful just your classic case of hormonal acne and nothing that i did worked and then flash forward to literally august of 2023 when i'm in san diego after i've taken clear stem um and my skin is like literally i'm not gonna say flawless because it isn't but it was like completely gone which is just crazy to me and so this video is not an ad <laughs> it's not a sponsored video but i do want to talk about clear stem because it literally changed my skin like it genuinely cured my hormonal acne obviously everybody's different but i've heard so many other people's testimonials i've had people message me and say that once i told them about it and recommended it on my instagram that they bought it and tried it and that they really love it i'm just telling you guys what worked for me and this was definitely by far the number one thing that helped me and I'm still taking it. So it's the Clear Stem Mind Body Skin Vitamin. It has, it's all like natural ingredients. There's nothing weird in it. It's not hormonal. Um, it has vitamin A, which is, I think retinol is a vitamin A, right? Yeah. It has turmeric and dandelion, which I guess helps inflammation in the liver, which I think affects your hormones. Um, it has a digestive blend, it has 5-HTP, so if you are on antidepressants or any sort of, um, yeah, I think antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications, a lot of them have 5-HTP in it or the 5-HTP, maybe they don't have 5-HTP. If you're on antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications, you're not supposed to take things that have 5-HTP in them, so... They have the exact same supplement without 5-HTP. So there you go. If you're on that, you can still take this. Just get the one that doesn't have 5-HTP in it. It also has DIM, which is what I mentioned before I really liked and was the one thing that I felt kind of helped me when I was dealing with hormonal acne and I took it. So it has DIM and B5. So it's like it has DIM in it, but then it has all these other things as well. And it also has glutathione, which brightens skin tone and anti antioxidant activity so you're supposed to take three capsules per serving and you take it with food but ever since taking it, i've only taken two because i think for some reason i think i read somewhere that it has to do with your weight like if you weigh a certain amount you don't need to take all three of them i've only been taking two and it's worked for me so uh just depends but this is like literally my lifesaver i love it i have gone through like two bottles so i've actually skipped a lot of days like i don't take it every day a lot of times i forget and it still has been working for me i still break out during my period like i'll get one or two pimples which is normal again like i said it happens no matter what i like i feel like this is the most basic thing i'm like yeah i had acne and then i took this and now it's gone and it seems like too good to be true but genuinely like that is the story the one thing that i'll say is that my skin is not like perfect so to say um I'm just gonna try to zoom in actually. I'll show you this. So, as you can see, this is an acne scar. I have all of these kind of like reddish dark marks that are all from having acne. And like a lot of this, I actually, this was like a scab, I think, and I picked it yesterday. So I don't know if that actually counts, but this is all like dark marks from having, from having the acne. And so that's kind of, what my mission has been lately is like trying to get my skin to an even skin tone, get rid of the dark marks, and help with the acne scarring. So I'll show you guys my skincare routine really quick. It's pretty basic. I'll just show you guys the products. I've been slowly shifting my skincare routine into medical grade skincare. So I'm really trying to like up my skincare game because now that I have the acne gone now, I'm like, okay, now I can work on like, you know, actually making my skin even more 
whatever. So the medical grade skincare brand that I've been using is Epicurin and I really love it so far. So I have three cleansers, which I know seems like a lot, but really it's an oil cleanser and I usually just double cleanse at night, especially if I'm wearing makeup. I just use this to get the makeup off. I pretty much always double cleanse at night. So I do an oil just without water, like oil cleansing with this is from Embody and it's called the one and done oil cleanser. I've used a lot of oil cleansers before and this one works just fine. I feel like they're all kind of the same, I don't know. Then I use these two foaming cleansers. There's not really like a reason why I use the two, it's just that I have them and so I just keep this one in the shower. So I just use this one when I'm in the shower and I'm washing my face and then this one is on my sink countertop. This one is the Vich Vichy Laboratories. It might be medical grade. I remember checking and I don't remember if it is or not, but um, it's the Vichy Laboratories Normaderm Phyto Action Daily Deep Cleansing Gel. I like it. I'm looking now and I don't know if it's cruelty free, which I wouldn't, mm, I wouldn't recommend it if it wasn't, it might not be. So maybe don't get this. It was just sent to me and I've been using it. So I wouldn't buy it if it wasn't though. So maybe scratch that, but anyways. Um, and then I've been using the Epicurean Herbal Cleanser. I love it. It is in a little bottle, but really these products like a little bit goes a long way. Um, I've been using this one for like the past couple weeks and I really like it. So I always wash my face. I double cleanse at night and then just normal cleanse in the morning. Usually I use this one unless I'm showering. Then for serums, I have two at night and two in the morning. So let me show you. Okay, so my AM skincare routine, I have these two serums. These are gifted, so that's why I'm using them. I do love Coco Kinds products though, but they're not medical grade, but they're still good. And they're also like affordable because medical grade skincare is pretty expensive because it's like medical grade. <laughs> so the two serums I use, this is the vitamin C glow serum, and this is the ceramide barrier serum. And I like them. They've been good for me. I think vitamin C helps with red spots and helps um, brightening your skin. I've been using vitamin C for a really long time and I still haven't gotten rid of my red spots so I think it might be time for like a custom facial honestly at this point because I don't know if skincare is going to cut it. Um, so those are the two serums I use in the AM. And then in the PM I use these two from Epicurean. So this one is the Pro Collagen Serum Amplifier and this one is the Moisture Surge Hyaluronic Acid Gel. I love both of these but the hyaluronic one is like so moisturizing and I do have naturally dry skin so I just like love a super hydrating thing. I actually messaged them, they sent these to me and I asked them for products that were specifically for anti-aging and I think I said dark marks. So that's what I've been using. Um, at PM. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also do a chemical exfoliant in the PM after cleansing. And I've always used the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I love it. I pretty much use it every single night after cleansing, exfoliate, and then I do, sorry, is it an exfoliant as a toner? It's an exfoliating toner. No, it's an exfoliant. I don't know, whatever. And then I use the serums. <laughs> and then for moisturizer, I use the Epicurean Luminous Glow Cream. I love this one. This one's so good. It smells so good. It's so, I just love these products because like you really just need a tiny little amount and it's amazing. And then I've been using the Coco Kind Silk SPF because obviously I always use an SPF in the mornings. Um, oh, and then, at night, I've kind of been alternating between a couple of things. Um, this is the Coco Kind Chia Bounce Mask. This one is super hydrating, so I kind of alternate because like some nights I'm like I really want like super hydrating, and then the other nights I use the Coco Kind Resurfacing Face Mask or Sleep Mask. I rave about this product so much because it's literally amazing. It's basically like a retinol sleep mask, and I will leave it on my face at night. And then in the morning I wake up and my skin is literally like amazing. I kid you not, my skin always looks a hundred times better whenever I use this at night. I don't do it every single night though because it's like retinol, so I'm just I want to like be like hydrated and then kind of like cycle. Uh, what do you call that? Skin cycling. So that's like pretty much my skincare routine. Very basic. I haven't done facials or anything in a long time, but I honestly think that <laughs> that might be the next step. Now I'm going to quickly go over some of the questions that I've gotten asked on Instagram. There's honestly a lot of them, but I've already answered some of them on Instagram. So I'm just going to try to go through a lot of them are like repeats as well, like the same question over and over. Oh, someone asked if getting off birth control gave me an irregular period. So actually talking about this, oh, and I need to go over like what I'm doing now. Duh. So actually my period is the most normal it's ever been. It, I never really dealt with an irregular cycle to begin with. Like obviously on the pill, it's like 
fake you know what i mean like it's synthetic essentially like your cycle isn't really real if that makes sense so my cycle was like pretty normal on the pill but now i'm using natural cycles first of all so since i stopped taking birth control i decided to track my cycle naturally and that's what i've been doing and it's worked for me um there's like other contraceptive methods and uh things that me and james do to make sure that i'm not getting pregnant because i don't want to get pregnant at all so basically the pull out method is what i'm saying <laughs> um because i don't like condoms so we've just been doing that but also i have like 50 percent green days for natural cycles which a green day is like the days that you can't get pregnant um but we're just being safe about it because i don't want a baby maybe ever i don't know but definitely not right now but yeah my period so i've been using natural cycles also sorry for not to mention i do have a clear stem discount code and i also have a natural cycles discount code for you guys if you're curious highly recommend both of these things because these are the two things that have changed the game clear stem helped me get rid of my hormonal acne and the natural cycles has helped me get in sync with my body or get in tune with my body figure it out and tr track my cycle cycle naturally so i use natural cycles every morning I wake up, I take my temperature, and I log into the app, and then that's done. That's all I have to do. So if you can remember to take the birth control pill, you can remember to track your temperature. I was actually really bad at taking the birth control pill, and I'm really good at taking my temperature because I do it as soon as I wake up first thing, and I just, it's a habit now. So anyways, it actually made me have a more regular period, but I will say that I never really used to get cramps, and now I will get them a little bit on like the first day of my period, but they're really not that bad. And I'll say that my period is heavier, but um, so much shorter. Like when I was on the pill, it was a week long. Now it's like three days long, which I would honestly take a heavier period, but a shorter one over a longer period, but a lighter one. That's just me. But I feel like three days and I'm done. I'll deal with it. Like that's perfectly fine for me. So somebody said, how long did it take to better your hormonal acne? So basically I got off the pill in October. I started breaking out in March of the next year. And then from March until August. So however many months that is, that's how long I had acne. And then but once I took clear stem, it only took a couple weeks to actually clear up. So I had acne from March to August and then took clear stem and it went away. <laughs> Someone said, I mostly just break out around my time of the month. Is there any way I can prevent that? Like I said, I do too. And I've kind of just come to terms with it that it's just kind of what happens. I really only get like one or two pimples. It's nothing crazy. So it's like, that's fine. But I've always had it. It's, it's always happened. And whether I'm on the pill or off the pill or using clear stem or not, I've gotten it. So I don't know. I don't know. Someone said I heard clear stem stops working after a while. Do you find this to be true or false? I've been using it since August and it's now almost February and it's still working for me. I also know that after a while, I think your skin will just kind of naturally clear up after getting off the pill. So I don't know how much longer I'll take it for. I think I'm, I like taking it just because it's not like it's anything bad. You know, there's no side effects or nothing bad that I'm taking when I'm taking it. So it's like, I don't know why I may as well, but I haven't experienced that. Someone said, how do I figure out what is wrong with my skin? I just never stop breaking out and I don't know why. It's truly the most frustrating thing when you have acne and it's like feels like you're trying everything and you're researching and so many people are telling you different things and you're seeing so many things online and it's just like so much. It's very overwhelming and frustrating. So I, I understand that. And it's like you try these things that people recommend and they don't work. And I'm glad that when I tried clear stem it worked, but before that I had tried so many other things and that just didn't have worked for me. I haven't been to a proper dermatologist, but I would 100% recommend going to a dermatologist and like somebody who's very well trained in the science of skin Honestly, because I think that that is really gonna get down to the cause of it because you don't know if it's like your diet or hormones or Something you're putting on your face like there's so many different things that could be or like stress environment your water in your shower like it could be literally so many different things that could be causing it and so either trial and error which is frustrating and takes a lot of time and it isn't very fun or go to a dermatologist and also maybe like find a really good esthetician who can like come up with like customized facials i know all that stuff costs money so you kind of got to do what you can but i would say definitely seek professional advice because I can tell you what worked for me, but that might not necessarily work for you. Someone said, how did you stay confident when your skin acne wasn't in good condition? I didn't. Like, there were obviously good days and bad days, but I was definitely very insecure about it. 
I really mentally had to accept it and I, I, I kept telling myself like I knew that I was on this journey to figure out what was wrong with it so I knew that it wasn't like this permanent thing. I knew that my skin was going to get clearer someday. So I just kind of kept, like kept reassuring myself about that but it was really frustrating. Um, I obviously like would try to cover it up usually like when I was out in public but I just feel like a lot of the time you kind of just have to remind yourself that people really aren't looking at you that much and no one is like everyone's in their own head you know everyone's worried about themselves so even though you feel like everyone's looking at you and your skin is like this huge thing in the room that everybody's eyes are glued onto it's not and people really aren't paying attention to you someone asked app for natural birth control clear stems obviously um people are asking like any attitude changes coming off the pill and obviously i said that like my entire personality came back <laughs> so much more energy just so much more happy and creative i don't know how to explain it i just felt like a kid again it was so bizarre but so amazing like i literally just felt so good every single day and i still do but like that moment like that couple first months of me getting off the pill i was like it was like overwhelming how amazing i felt <laughs> someone said how long were you in clear stem before you saw results for me it was two weeks i feel like honestly it could be totally different for other people but for me for some reason it just worked really fast and i saw results almost right away. Okay, I feel like most of these questions are the same and also I pretty much already answered them in this video. So, or a lot of them I just can't answer because I don't have experience with it. But one, I did get a couple questions that were about what are your thoughts on non-hormonal contraceptions? Like the IUD, the copper IUD, which is literally the only one <laughs> besides like spermicide gel, but doesn't have a very high effectiveness rating. So I did look into the copper IUD. I have a friend who has it and really liked it, likes it. I really was considering it because it's like it lasts so long. I mean, you really just have to put it in once and take it out another time. So there can be complications with it, with our, which can be really, really bad, but the odds are not very high. But I was when I was looking into it, I have low blood platelets and it did say that it is not recommended for people with low blood platelets. Um, I just have a very higher, a big, bigger chance of bleeding and bruising and my blood doesn't clot very easily so the IUD can cause uh, heavier periods the, the copper IUD so it just said it wasn't recommended for people who have low blood platelets and so I just decided that I probably wasn't a good idea I also just know that it's really painful to get in and really painful to take out and I had actually gone and seen a gynecologist I think about getting one a long time ago and she was telling me that she's like because I'm a doctor I have to just like tell you even though there's like a tiny, 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 tiny chance of this, these things happening. I just have to warn you because like it's my job and my responsibility. And so she told me about like the different complications that can happen with getting an IUD. Like it can get, go into like your uterus and you can get an Episcopal, I don't remember what they're called. Um, it's not a type of church. I think it is. One of those pregnancies where like the baby's growing outside of something. I don't remember. There's like all these different complications that can happen. And some of them can be life-threatening <laughs> um, or just terrible where like you can't couldn't even have a baby afterwards so i was like you know even though the, the odds are very slim obviously you're taking a chance with any, anything that you do but i'm like that just seems a little extreme for me i'm gonna pass and so that was why i decided against that that is pretty much the gist of it all i i really hope that this helped you guys i i feel like i'm just sharing my experience like this is exactly what happened to me this is this is my personal journey so i'm just sharing with you because i do get a lot of questions about it and i'm very open about sharing and so i think people just really want to know and i really just wanted to make like a sit down video sharing the whole thing from start to finish so that is the whole skincare shebang hopefully i answered a lot of your guys questions or hopefully you found this helpful again i highly recommend clear stem and natural cycles those are the two things and also obviously all the skincare products i mentioned i will link everything down below i have the discount code for Clear stem, which is Angelina D, and it gets you 15% off. And then I think I have a link that gives you 20% off natural cycles, which actually is a really good deal. I think you also get a free thermometer with it as well. So highly recommend checking out all of the things that I mentioned if you are kind of on this journey or thinking about it or dealing with hormonal acne. These are what worked for me. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.